Hi, I'm David Dodge for Green Energy Futures. In this episode, we look at the latest frontier for energy efficient transportation, the electric bike. As batteries have improved, what was once a niche market is now a very cool form of transportation. The power is amazing. It makes you feel like you have bionic legs. With a traditional bike, there, there's always, sometimes depending on how much energy you have or how the weather is, you know, you have more excuses to say, mm, maybe I'll just rather drive. But now with electric bike, it's, you know, there's less excuse to actually get out. Sonny Shim is an architectural technologist in Edmonton and a proud owner of a Bodego Trail Tracker. It's both an electric bike and a fat bike that makes commuting in winter a breeze. We got to test it out in the parking lot. Riding it is a ton of fun. Probably for about five, six years to be actually common in the marketplace. But I think it's at a stage where the technology is robust enough to actually make it useful as, a, as an everyday bike. But before it was, it was kind of a niche market, but now it's actually, it's actually you know, every, every bike shop has an electric bike option now. And Shem is right. The technology has improved and bike shops are stocking and selling electric bikes. Cliff Valentgood is the owner of Red Bike in Edmonton, and he's seen the technology improve to the point where he now sells electric bikes in his store. I would say lithium-ion battery technology is the, the single most important innovation. It uh, provides very high uh, energy storage to weight ratio compared to the old lead-acid batteries, which allows much longer travel distances. Um, now, instead of 10 kilometers on a single charge, you can go 30, 40, 50 kilometers on a single charge, depending upon the size of the battery. So much lighter weight, much longer travel distances makes it really practical and and uh, really viable technology. And while old school pedal heads might turn their nose up at an electric assist, Valent Good sees a ton of upside in these machines as they make cycling more accessible. Anytime we can reach new users, um, it's brilliant. More users, more bicycles sold, fewer cars on the road, healthier, happier people. Um, that's always the goal, whether it's the introduction of electric assist bikes or fat tire bikes or any other, anything else that might appeal to someone. And it's not just about fewer cars on the road and healthier, happier people. An exhaustive life cycle assessment from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology found that electric bikes use about 10% of the energy required to power a car per mile. Another study found that you would need 81 bikes to emit the same amount of pollution as one car traveling the same distance. In a carbon constrained world, the only vehicle more efficient than an electric bike is a regular bike. To check out the studies we talked about, head to our website. We've also got a blog, photos, podcast, and you can even see video of me riding an e-bike at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.